What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Just like the title says, I bought a new truck and I know a couple months back I posted a video that I bought a new truck for the channel. Well, I did it again. So I'll explain more in detail why. So let's get right into it. So what we have here is a 2023 F-150, obviously. Regular cab, short bed. This is in the XLT trim, as you guys can see. And it's in Avalanche Gray. Now you guys are probably wondering why I went from a crew cab to a single cab. In a nutshell, some things happen in life where my oldest is already starting a job. Well, she already started a job. She's also going off to college. So chances are she'll be taking over my fiance's Ford Explorer. So what I did was I downgraded to a single cab, which lowered my payment, um, my monthly payment. And the money that I'm saving on the monthly, I'm gonna go ahead and help my fiance get a new vehicle for herself because she will be giving the Explorer to my oldest. So with that being said, I had to downgrade to a single cab, which in my opinion, it isn't a downgrade because this is exactly what I wanted, but I just never thought I would be able to do this due to having a family. Excuse the wind, it is kind of windy. But since I got the green light from the fiance and she'll be getting herself into a new vehicle here soon, then this is what had to happen. So yeah, like I said, it's a 2023 F-150, obviously with the Coyote engine and the 10 speed. I did get it in the XLT trim, as I mentioned. It is FX4. This uh, truck is actually pretty well equipped. Um, it's got the 360 camera, as you guys can see. It's got the uh, zone lighting. It also has the factory bed liner, along with the utility bed package that came with the hooks that go there, which I don't think I'll ever use. Uh, this tailgate has the step, which I don't like because it just adds more weight, but it's there, it's there. So yeah, as you guys can see, I'll show you guys inside. Um, Pretty well equipped. Like I said it's got the lighting here for the mirrors. I got it with 17 miles and currently we're sitting at 342 miles. 75th anniversary obviously because it is, well actually the F1, F series has got 75 years. So it does have that auto, auto start stop button which I'm gonna delete with the eliminator which that is on the list of mods that I wanna do. But yeah. Just your simple cloth, uh, regular cab. So nothing too fancy. It does got the eight inch screen, which obviously is smaller than the 12 inch screen that I had in my crew cab. But I'm already used to the size of screen because my GMC Sierra had a similar size screen. I think, I think it was an eight inch screen. So uh, with it being the FX4 package, uh, you do get the hill descent. I'm sorry guys, I don't know if you can see that. The hill descent, and then you got the traction control. And you got the button for the uh, 360 camera. So yeah, nothing too fancy in here. I did get the tint done just a few hours ago. And that's about all that I've done so far. Well, actually I did put on the uh, oil catch can. I actually did that at the dealer before I traded it in my black truck. So I put the oil catch can uh, when the truck had 17 miles to it. But yeah, this color here in the sun looks amazing. Check that out. 2023 models did come with the black housing on the headlamps and on the fog lamps. I do plan on upgrading the headlamps to the Lariat style or platinum or even the Tremor. Um, but that's at least what 18 to two grand for that mod. I also want to do the tail lights. With it being an XLT trim, you do have your regular halogen bulbs um bulbs i should say so that's all part of the uh the list that i want to do of upgrades eventually we'll get to that the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to color match it so i am going to buy a lariat grill and then i'm going to color color match the grill the bumper the side vents the mirror cap the door handles obviously the rear bumper and that'll complete the uh color matching um let's see what else can i tell you guys i do got some drop shackles that are coming in monday today's saturday so stay tuned for that video 
I thought about lifting the front or leveling the front, but I think what I want to do with this truck is just reverse level it. So that way I can keep it kind of like a street strip truck, nothing too high. Um, so yeah, the, the butt's way high in the air, as you guys can see. So the uh, drop shackles will be coming in in a couple days and I'll get those installed and I'll record what I can once I get that installed and you guys will see the difference. But yeah, if you guys were wondering, everything that I bought for my crew cab, I'm gonna be putting on the single cab, which includes the uh, P-Mask cold air intake, the um, Corsa Extreme exhaust system that I bought, which I did record a video for it, but I just never got the chance to edit it. I still have the footage there. I don't think I'm gonna edit it because obviously I don't have that truck anymore. I am gonna modify it to fit the single cab obviously i gotta shorten up the connector pipe but it will fit so i'll take it to a muffler shop to get that done that'll be a separate video as well this video like i said i just wanted to introduce the truck to you guys give you guys a quick walk around oh i am i am going to be color matching the uh, emblems as well but man this color is sick FX4 package. I am gonna keep these wheels for a uh, four man's drag setup, to be honest with you guys. I'll be throwing on some drag radios. And I am planning on getting a uh, set of uh, 20 inch wheels, probably the sport wheels and throw on an all-terrain tire. That way, you know, whenever I do go to the beach, I have that daily setup. And then I'll keep the 17s for a, uh, for a drag setup. I do have the uh, Ford wheel liners that I ordered. On my previous truck, I did have the, uh, I believe it was the Husky. I was gonna put those on, but I think I might have a buyer for them. So I went and bought the uh, Ford OEM liners with the Ford pass points. So I might as well just put those on. But yeah, let me see. Uh, I guess I can pop the hood for you guys. I mean, you guys already know what a Coyote looks like. Coyote engine, I should say. <laughs> I just can't get over this color, guys. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Was this the smart move? Like I said, I got the green light from my fiance to do so. So I jumped on at the opportunity and I'm so far happy with the decision that I've made. So this has got that uh, step here, which honestly I don't use. I don't think I'll ever use, but yeah. I don't want to blabber on too much. Um, make it a short video for you guys stay tuned for more content like i said everything that i bought for the crew cab i will be installing on the single cab so stay tuned for all those videos um there's gonna be great content now that i have the regular cab regular cab i do want to do a little more uh i want to get some seat time at the track see what it does stock and then you know as i gradually uh, add on some performance parts or whatever i want to see how i can be chopping down the time and stuff but you know we'll see what i end up doing probably a gt manifold or a, i don't know ram air intake there's a lot of things i want to do with it eventually boost but slowly but surely i'll be building the truck so once again guys if you guys are tuning in for the first time please hit that subscribe button like this video comment below on what you think of the truck i think it's beautiful i love the color i can't get over this color man it looks great in the sun and in the shade man it just it looks amazing as well so i already put on the shorty antenna i did the tint i'll be installing the uh, p mass catch cans already on corsa i'll be lowering the rear and then we'll probably be doing like an led upgrade front and rear but yeah this truck here, like I said, it's got it's got your drive modes as well. 
the AC going, it's pretty hot in here. So as you guys can see, it's got mud and ruts. It's got deep snow and sand, slippery. What else do we got? Normal, tow haul, eco, and of course sport. You got your uh, four-wheel drive selection here. It's got the electronic locking diff, your trailer brake, and your pro trailer. Like I said, this is an XL XLT. This is the highest trim you can get in a regular cab. So, you know, it's not too bad option. Like it's, it's got all your, uh, it's got like lane, keep assist, cruise control. I mean, it's pretty dope if you ask me. Double glove box. Of course, you got your center console here, which you can have a uh, bench seat here for your passenger. So, anyways, once again, guys, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you on the next one.